I had a problem on my 1840 where whether I would lift or lower my bucket, let's say I would lift it, when I would stop, it would slowly drop maybe about four inches or so and then hold. And then the same thing if I, would to if I were to lower it and stop, it would slowly drop about four to six, four or five inches and then hold. So I did a lot of research, couldn't really find a whole lot on this outside of a guy talking about doing a cylinder test. Uh, a couple of other guys on the Facebook group that said something similar. Uh, so here's the route that I took. I took the lift cylinders off. I didn't use the boom lock because I needed to be able to position that um, cylinder down here where I needed it to be. I just rested the bucket and the front end uh, loader on my trailer there. So moved the joysticks, got all the pressure off. I capped, where's it at here? I capped the flexible hose, plugged the hard line for the cylinder port or the rear portion of the cylinder, not the retraction port. I did that on both sides. I just put some uh, blue electrical tape around the cylinder rods on both ends. You can see it over on that side as well. So my plan here is to start the machine up and retract the, uh, the boom arms. The concept is the high pressure fluid will pressurize the retraction port to push the cylinder down, but because I've got this back end capped and plugged, it shouldn't be able to move anywhere. If the seals are bad, this uh, pressure, the, fl the high pressure fluid will flow through the seals into this larger portion of the cylinder, therefore pushing the rod outward, even though I'm trying to retract it. So let's see what we got here.